The United States was founded upon the principle that all individuals are created equal, and each has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, without fear of persecution or torture. Soon after its nationhood, America became known around the world as the land of the free and the home of the brave. September 11, 2001, changed everything. Questions of safety soared to the forefront, and in response, America rapidly passed laws which inevitably began to reverse our dearly held freedoms, including freedom of conscience, speech, and the press. Some have proposed that secret societies or the Council on Foreign Relations are responsible for such restrictions. But is there a more sinister power at work, whose ultimate plan is much worse? History demonstrates that restricting freedom results in great atrocities against humanity. Some examples of modern societies which currently restrict freedom of religion, press, and speech include China, North Korea, and Vietnam. Arguably, the worst result of restricting freedom is genocide, as depicted by Stalin's Russia and Hitler's Germany. The tendency of such dictators has been to persecute and, if need be, attempt to wipe out dissenters, particularly those in the religious minority. The longest period of religious intolerance and persecution was that found during the Middle Ages. Some 60 million persons perished by the state church in the name of God. Those who disagreed with its creed were brutally tortured and murdered for crimes such as owning or copying short passages of scripture or reading them aloud. The Founding Fathers knew of these abuses firsthand, and for that reason took great pains to preserve the freedoms of speech, press, and religion. We are still the home of the brave, but are we the land of the free? They're essentially supporting the policies of the Bush administration, policies that many people have found to be highly illegal. The waterboarding is misnamed, and that torturers have used throughout history. It should be called the drowning torture and has been called the drowning torture in the past. Is it possible that by restricting liberty in the name of safety, the United States is on the verge of repeating history? The Bible, which accurately predicted the rise of America and the end of persecution in the Middle Ages, also predicts the answer to this question and sounds a clear warning about a malicious conspiracy working in darkness for nearly 6,000 years. Its goal? To completely eliminate freedom worldwide. It is coming. Each person must decide. Liberty or death. Which one will you choose?